stealing colors. It can set the mood, create a sense of harmony or contrast, or draw attention to certain elements. I cannot tell you enough, but I probably looked at way more portfolios than the average person. I probably looked at like 10,000 over my day, quite literally have them documented by the way. However, besides hierarchy being the number one problem I see in designers, I actually think colors comes very much so second. Yo, what's going on guys? It is your boy Cecil here. Now, for the record, I think colors are a pretty simple thing to understand, but it's also not. For me, I think a lot of people actually determine whether or not a composition is good or a design is good based strictly on composition and never really color. When I was actually growing as a designer in this scene, I would heavily consider my compositions, my photos, my fonts, and then near the end, I would say something along the lines like, maybe I'll just switch the colors here and there to see what works, right? As true as that might be, design is absolutely an orchestra. Fonts matter, composition matters, flow matters, assets matter, and colors absolutely matter too. Equally, all of these things in a design can actually equally make or break the project. Color sampling is a whole nother skill that you obtain as a designer. If it's saving Pinterest posts under a color subcategory or dragging a few images into Photoshop and using the eyedropper tool to sample shades or hue of colors that you think fits best, it's honestly a skill that I wish I learned sooner. So to all my always using blue people, I, you're, I know you're out there. No. The moment you start going to sites like Pinterest and Behance or even like Save It and saving projects that really convey or even have really just dope color schemes, you realize the design process comes just a little bit more easier. For Pinterest, start with searching for something like design poster and go through the rabbit hole. You like a concept or a color? Click through and look below because it'll actually show you other ways the composition was curated, but many times different ways that the color was actually used. Then of course, go spend 30 minutes in Behance, go to Discover, then use Best of Behance, and just pay attention to how you react when you see a design. Maybe it wasn't anything else that made you go, oh, this is really dope, besides it actually just being the color scheme. So if we get a little more specific, and I know my design is to feel energetic as a keyword, I'll type in energetic design in one of the previous sites I named. I'll scroll through till I find a few ideas that to me was successful at feeling like my keyword. So I picked out these guys in this example. Next thing you wanna do is create yourself a few color schemes and swatches that will later give you that jump start. Because to me, these colors all feel energetic, right? So the chances of a color scheme coming from these swatches it would probably actually be pretty high. You want to go ahead and make sure you mix and match, test, fix, balance it all so you find that color scheme. Because I'll tell you what, it's far easier to steal colors than to miss completely after two hours of trying the same colors that you use too often. And for that moment, that's when you actually start leveling up as a designer for me. But I want to throw this out there too. The easiest color scheme to actually understand is black, white, and a color. So as a beginner designer, using two colors or even like two shades becomes significantly more harder because you may run into either like contrast or just like just straight up just doesn't look good colors. Additionally, let's use an example of using the basics and not going the route of searching. So for many people, they start with a background color. It can be any one of those three. I'll go with black. Then let's say you want to actually add your design treatment. Let's choose out of the remaining. So I'm going to say a color. For that color, I'm going to choose red, which then leaves us with our white as our last color, and that'll be our text color. However, let's say you actually take your black, for instance, and add or find a color in the black realm that would render as black. What I mean by that is, so if let's say you start from the bottom left, by the way, if you choose black on the bottom right, I don't like you for one, but also if you use black on the bottom right in gradients, that's why it actually doesn't look like it's black for the record. So don't do that ever really, unless you want it. But bottom left, move your circle to the right slightly and move it above just the pure black line and start there. Then of course, move the hue bar a little bit so you find a nice little color, which I like the blues, by the way, if you wanna choose that one for the record and press okay. Are you still using pure white? Because I don't actually see a lot of designers nowadays using pure white unless it's for a deck. So if you're still in that train, move your mouse slightly down to the right, basically where the edge of the movement circle meets the corner of the square is a really good start. Followed by, of course, moving your hue bar once again to find that nice complementary color. Now, if we were to compare these two designs really quick, one should probably feel more basic in theory, while the other one might feel just a little more elevated. And honestly, that itself can actually help you think just a little more differently, and maybe even actually understand the power of color just a little bit more. Now, if we were to actually go back to our small list of many things design, fonts, composition, assets, flow, hierarchy, color, I would actually say the one that would not just make your design just look averagely good, but like really freaking good, I'd actually probably say it's color over hierarchy. So of course, that's my opinion, but I've been getting a lot of comments recently on my designs, like, yo, this is a really cool color scheme. This is super cool, blah, blah, blah. I'm just like, yo, thanks, but I stole that. So, you know, if you wanna be like me and change the game, just, just, just go steal some colors.
like an artist, by the way. Don't like literally steal it. Just give me, you know, tweak it a little bit. It's a game changer. Trust me, says HQ out. Do not forget to keep smiling, stay positive, and stay freaking productive, guys. Later, much love, peace, and enjoy your time stealing colors. Because you should.